Hey guys. So we're out here in uh, beautiful, scenic, I think North Dakota. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Somewhere out here, I just got out of Sioux Falls. No, I'm in Iowa now, that's where I'm at. I'm in Iowa now. And uh, we're gonna be heading to customer to pick up, but it'll be for tomorrow morning. So I've already been to a truck stop, got a little cleaned up and stuff, and um, got another hour or two to go to get there. But when I get there, I don't have you know, a way to heat up my dinner. Da -da -da. So we take and we put the dinner right there. And um, it does a good job of heating it up. You know, doesn't overcook it, nothing burns, nothing spills. Um, probably heat up my dinner, you know, two, three times a week doing it that way. And it actually works very, very well. So I uh, got a little story for you guys. So I had a gas cap on my truck, cost me about $250. How did a gas cap cost me $250? Well, so I left out Monday morning bright and early and I needed fuel. So after about 150 miles, I get up into Wisconsin and uh, go ahead and fill up my tank, fill up my main tank on my, on my truck and fill up the auxiliary tank. Auxiliary tank's a 90 gallon tank, right? Fill that sucker up. Now it is a gravity feed tank, but never had any issues with the gravity feed. So um, I drive for about another two and a half hours, something like that. I was about 150, 160 miles and I get to my first stop and um, I hear water running. Like, what the hell? There's a water out here. It's 10 degrees outside. I step out of my truck and sure enough, there's fuel just pissing out the gas cap. Just pissing out the gas cap. And I'm like, oh man, I must not have tightened it. I run over there, tighten it, go click, click, click. Thing tightens up, stops leaking. And of course, I have no idea at that point in time how much fuel I've lost. But I start walking down the truck and you know, the back of the truck is covered. The trailer is covered. Um, my wheels, if you guys can look in there and see how nasty those wheels are right now. That's because they were covered in diesel and it just attracted all the dirt and these roads are filthy and I haven't, uh, haven't found a truck wash yet. Of course, it's always been around zero here uh, where I've been running up north. So anyway, I figure I'm just a dumbass. And um, so I'm driving a couple hours later and all of a sudden my main fuel gauge, it starts going down, which means, okay, my tank's empty. I had already gone, only gone like four, 450 miles. So I had about 500 or so miles that I should have gone before my tank got empty. Somebody heavy hauling, making some noise out there. But, uh, so I dumped probably 50, maybe 60 gallons of fuel uh, out on the highway. But here's the thing. I get to my next stop and I go to my gas cap. I just walking by, my whole gas cap is gone, all right? So something inside the gas cap that keeps the tension on there failed. Even though it's still going click, 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 it failed. Dumped 50, 60 gallons of fuel, four bucks a gallon, and uh, you know, it was expensive. Um, had to go to Ford to get the gas cap. So when I go in, they actually had one, and I was expecting it to be just some ungodly price cost me four dollars and seventeen cents <laughs> four dollars and seventeen cents for a brand new gas cap and um i'll tell you what probably about once a year now just for giggles i'm gonna go ahead and throw a new gas cap on because yeah i don't think they would ever happen again but if it does you know it's already cost me 250 bucks you know i, I could have put 60 gas caps on this thing for the price of this one mishap. So just for reference, you know, little stupid little things like that that you never ever think of can get super expensive. So, all right guys, uh, basically I needed to do my 30 and I wanted to take a little walk, say hi. Um, as always, feel free to leave me a comment. Tell me, uh, tell me what to talk about. We'll see you guys soon.